Welcome to my humble abode. I'm Yorkie the Tail Spinner. And this is Tales Over Coffee, our morning show, where we begin the day with a narrative tale and a coffee. And wish each other a blessed day. Now we return to Black Buck, which I screwed up bad so badly last time, and hope to do better this time. New game. Normal difficulty. Once upon a time, evil spirits dwelled here in these parts. In a sense, they still do. I will tell you a story. It happened long ago, even before the revolution. It happened here, not far from Cherdin. I heard my grandmother tell it. A man was fostering an orphan girl. He was a Noah. Everyone called him Old Yegor. She didn't want to become a witch, but he taught her his craft. She was to be married to a special young man. I can't recall what exactly happened, but this young man took his own life. He was later buried beyond the gates of the churchyard. Which meant that he would pass straight to hell. As for the orphan, Basilisa, she refused to accept it. She was intent on bringing back his soul from the inferno. To do this, she would need to break the seven seals of the Black Book, which Old Igor kept, and retrieve him. And it was for that reason that Vasilisa agreed to become a witch. But to become one, she needed to be initiated in a banya or at a crossroads. And so, Vasilisa set out for the crossroads. Ah yes, the secret place of the world. Where the veils of the other world is narrow and easily broken. yourself. It'll all be well. All will be well. I'll accept this knowledge from Grandpa, though I know what you thought of that. But there's no other choice. I'll drag you from that robe myself. Sleep for now. Sleep. <clears throat> will he be willing to be dragged? And if he's forced, will he be grateful? They didn't bury him in the holy ground. Three sides seldom were buried there. I need to go to the crossroads. The pine needles are golden with the sun already. Adam's head. Crossroads. I thought we could get that hurt, but I guess not.
The darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads, along with old Yegor. You know the ritual that has to be done, but you've never thought of what might happen once it's complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. Old Igor raised you from childhood after your parents died. He has taught you the basics of witchcraft. Cherdyn, 16 miles. Selikamsk, 102 miles. Nirop, 21 miles. Ritual candles. Mm, looks like we're being watched. More Adam's head. Gold bags. The crosses look old. It seems people were buried here quite some time ago. So, well, have they you are. found the candles? Well done. All by yourself at that. Seems my teachings were not lost on you after all. Now let's draw a circle. Be careful not to leave any gaps. Otherwise, we'll be crushed by evil spirits. Indeed, a protective circle generally is viewed as having to be complete. Any break is essentially a doorway. I've made a circle. Is it all right, Grandfather? The circle is drawn. No gaps, good. Too late to dither now. You think that I can help him? Sure you can. You can do anything when you have the book. So says the legend. Well, go on. It's time for you to take my knowledge. Such a long time we've spent together. Parting with it is bittersweet. Well, take it. Would you look at that? What power emanates from the book? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Now speak the words I taught you. Oh, Grandpa. I'm scared. I don't know if I can. Don't you fret, Vasya. If you run, you'll perish. Damn, there's a reason not to fret. So come on, speak the words. Mm -hmm. And soon you'll be a witch. I know you won't falter. I'll get up without crossing myself, but I will go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I'll draw a circle and step into it, and I shall speak. Good merchants, come and buy my cat. For this cat, give me neither inconvertible ruble nor a fine hat, but bestow me with knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. So as I have said, so it will be. My words are stone. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully, if you value your life. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. Time for your first Sagavar. That's a spell. Welcome to your first battle. Each battle consists of turns. When your enemy take turns, but you always get to go first. You win when you destroy all enemies before you, reducing their health to zero. This is the black book, it contains all your Zagabors. Try using the page Arazi. Press end turn to use it. That will deal 4 damage. And it hits me back for 1, or tries. The page you had the previous turn have changed. The book alters the pages each turn. Enemy attacks can be blocked with defence. Defense shields you from damage, but disappears on your next turn. Recite the page of the lie, which has the defense effect. Defense me for five, he's only trying to do one. Such enchanted words protect from demons, but this protection fades quickly. Now draw up a complete Zagavar. You may combine several pages into Zagavar. 
You're currently reciting to maximum three pages, as indicated by the spell slots at the top of the screen. A Zagabal consists of orders and keys. You can currently recite the Zagabal consisting of two orders and one key. You can see the type of page, order or key in its upper content. Connor. The keys are both Kaba, uh, which will block its incoming damage. But Arazi twice without going down. Good job, Vasha. This demon is nearly a couple more spells to read the world of it. The black book helps you predict your enemy's action. There, it's going to hit me for one. So the enemy's intent carefully and you to upset their plans. Hey, Kaba. Watch it. That will do. There, the mouth. That, you monkey. Hellhound. The hellhound's lair. Well, now, Vasha, answer this more. You'll be a witch as soon as you return. Well, safe travels. In we go. Have a demon, it seems. Oh, is that you, Vasilis? I should congratulate you. For the first seal is open. Only six remain. Oh, but will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. The seals. How do I open the seals? Oh. Can't figure it out by yourself, girl. I'm disappointed in you. The wish. I'm curious. Can the Black Book grant any wish? Indeed. As legend dictates, who knows? Perhaps you shall meet your beloved soon. Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? No one. Earth, or beneath it has ever been able to open the scroll or look upon it yet. Who are you? What sort of devil are you? How rude. I'm your chief advisor. It is I who grants you the powers of a cultural. A we will become better acquainted in time, I presume. Hmm. Let me return to the land of the living. No chest yet. Have you forgotten your purpose? I made you a witch. How many demons will you take on for your service? And we get to choose one or as many as possible. Hmm. I think we'll go for the one. Surely I will only need one at most. We do not assign fewer than ah. three imps, Vasilisa. I'll pick out the best among Yegor's old imps for you. Now, girl, perhaps we'll meet again. If you manage to open the seals. On my first playthrough, I chose as many as possible, which was three a game. So it's always going to be three that you start with. It's a test of whether you wish to be a sinful witch or a good witch.
Hmm. What? Well, are you the sun rose while you were coming to? Had to drag you home. I understand it's not easy to pass through the devil's domain. So, you've seen it? Huh? Are we home? Seems like it was all a dream. The devil made me a witch. Well, then it is a good day. Uh, <laughs> what did I tell you? You should have become a witch a long time ago. That's new information. Well, what's done is done. The legend says that your wish is behind the seven seals. I could never open the first one. Here's the second seal. The Aspen one. How do I open it? Maybe it was the demon at the crossroads that opened the first. Perhaps. I think that demons do play a part. But what spirit is the Aspen one? Hmm. I'll have to rack my brain a bit. Maybe there's something in the books? <clears throat> you yourself are a witch now. I knew that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has spread already. Must be the Suset case who told the heads of the families. The house spirits or hobgoblin lives under the hearth or in the Golbet's cellar. Now people will come to you for advice. I am old now, not many teeth left. I feel My you. Koldun powers are waning. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even find the right demon for your problem. Well, while you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there, on the table. Do you remember how I taught you bookbinding? Afterwards, see to that visitor of yours. Some evil spirit has been giving him trouble. Got it? Got it. And the devil. Have you yourself met this devil? I was initiated as a Koldun once. I saw this devil who gave me my charts. A demon or devil who can serve as a golden familiar. I couldn't even lift the first seal. And you, who all you needed was one touch, and it's gone already. It seems there is great power within you. Indeed. Got it? Yes, let's get I to it. I got work. it, Grandpa. Look for the spirits around the district. Maybe we'll get lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Who knows? Perhaps after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. In traditional East Northern Oxy, a memorial service held on the 40th day after death for the departed, after which his or her soul leaves the world. Intriguing. The 40 days uh, I mentioned before reminds me of the 40 days of, the, of Noah's flood. I wonder if they're related in uh, historic. God bless. There's a great number of books in this collection. Illuminated books of old as well. Black books are not kept here, however. They're in a secret compartment near the furnace. Galbets and his boss cellar. Old Igor says that's where the Domovoy lives. I've never met one, but I once saw a black figure standing still in the corner of the house. A gravestone in the shape of his bar or a hut with a schematic roof. This word also refers to the cellar of his bar. Which is a traditional Russian countryside dwelling. And Don Boy is the household spirit, of course. Grandfather says that in days of old, they used to bury people under the stove. That is how the Domovoy came to be. On this screen, you can change the page composition of the Black Book. On the right side, you can see the current com uh, page composition of the Black Book. On the left side, are pages available to you, but not in the current Black Book composition. You can categorize pages with special filters. You might receive pages that are currently unavailable as battle or task rewards. You can also have page composition of the book. To craft new pages, you need rubles. I have 10. The black book volume has to stay within the limits of the maximum and minimum number of pages, or 13 to 33. You may also save three different sets of pages to change them as needed. 
In time, you will uncover even more black book pages, which are sealed away in the present. You can change the composition of the black book at any time, except during combat. An extra damaging spell might be good. We have the candles. The mill that stood still. A man from Biatka once lived in our village. He would tell us stories. One in Baldur Miller that had to make offerings to a Shishkwa. Or else she would prevent the miller's mechanism from turning. As an offering he gave part of his stores of flour, grain and breadcrumbs. On one occasion he had forgotten and offered nothing. Sure enough the windmill ground to a halt. When the man went to investigate inside the mill there was a Shishiga. And sitting in the grinder, threatening him with her finger outstretched. She suddenly vanished. The miller gave some tobacco and threw it at the shadows in the corner of the mill at midnight. The windmill started to turn again, and the Shishiga stopped causing mischief. Live to your contracts, it seems. It isn't easy being a Khaldun. Becoming one is a terrifying process, experience. People tell a lot of stories. One in particular comes to mind. A man decided to punish his neighbour for changing the boundary of his field to a neighbouring one. He went to a cauldron and asked, Give me a chort with which to curse my neighbour. The cauldron replied, It's not as simple as that. Do as I say and you will have your chort. He then told him they would need to go to a banya at midnight. So the man gathered his courage and took along his rifle and his cross. Oh, it is scary at the banya. He loaded his gun with a cross. Uh, with his cross and shot at the hearth. The fiery dog emerged and opened its maw. <coughs> the only option was to climb inside, and even though his instincts told him not to, he stopped himself from making the sign of the cross he recalled the last moment, that if he did so, he would lose his hand. He climbed down into the hearth of the course. What would you have done? As soon as he entered the maw, he saw fidgety little people sitting behind the te tables. I want one small chore to which I can curse my neighbour, the imp replied matter-of-factly, becoming no fewer than three, as I just discovered. The man awoke in the banyo with three chorts. Father, give us work we want to eat. He gave them a cat to curse and some other small tasks. More and more chorts appeared. He tried to keep up with the demands of the chorts, but he soon grew exhausted in mind and body in the end. His chorts took entertaining themselves the villagers, till all the inhabitants were cursed. Uh, Cherry Nuzet Uyazd, that was located in the northern part of Perm, Gubernia. You know what Ugric believes? I thought it was northern Finland. Uh, were closely interwoven with those of Christianity, creating a unique cultural blend. The first trade route from Europe to Asia passed through Cherdin, transforming every river, creek, mountain, and hill into part of European and Asian history. As in any neophyte initiation, the sorcerer called Khaldun has to pass through the maw of a beast at the crossroads or banya, or whatever may constitute a boundary space. Most often the initiation took place at the banya, and that is why the beast is represented by a fiery dog. In different cultural traditions, the neophyte has to pass through the maw of Totemic Ancestor. Interestingly, in the Cherdin region, this tradition has been partially preserved. In the geographic zone, where Russian people interact closely with the Komi people, Khaldun's have to pass through the maw of the white swan, Capicale, Pike, Lizard or Bear. All of these are thought to make ancestors of Kumi Permians. And we can see the evidence of this in traditional bronze plaques and amulets. Crossroads are one of the key points to travel between the world of the living and the depths of the underworld. It's a place that exists as a boundary between worlds. That is why the heroes of fairy tales often stop at the crossroads. They must choose their path, however, any path they choose. These are the world of unliving, uh, the so-called Tredivato Tarpo. Uh, My pronunciation is obviously wrong. The faraway kingdom. It is here that they must battle the serpent, or Koshi, who embodies the undead, as well as overcome other difficulties. Right, old ego. So, Vasha! Have you taken well to learning the mystical arts? Are you curious enough to learn some more? 
So how did you become a Khaldun, Grandfather? I was born in Vilgert, the sixth son of my father, Yevlan Pichurov. It was a big family, not the richest though. Large village in Chertin district, where you were born and raised by old Igor. You've got meant new village in the common Parmian language. When you have so many mouths to feed, it's hard to save money. But we lived well as a family. The house must have been built well. That is to say, I realize this now. Then one year, a seventh brother was born. Timofey, he was called. He was a good lad. He grew up, but I didn't look after him well enough. Heavy is this sin of mine. I still feel guilty. Vasya, having chorts is a trivial thing. You would do better to protect the ones closest to you, to fight for them. It's knowledge that gives us strength, for we harness their own power against them, with the chorts under our control. One day I was looking after Timofey. We were playing with the other children, but I lost my patience with a boy. I cursed him severely, sent him to the Leshi. Also known as Warsa, a commie word. The spirits who are the master of forests and sometimes fields and meadows. They control the weather and also animals and evil spirits who inhabit uh, their domain. Hunters and shepherds have to come to an agreement with the Leshies and offer them gifts and bargains. So the Leshi carried him away. We never found Timoshka. He'd vanished. Oh, it's hard to bear these sins, Vasya. So hard. Oh, yeah. So I decided to become a Kaldun. I wouldn't let the Dark Ones harm my family ever again. Or so I thought. Well, I'll tell the story of how I became a Kaldun later. Ask me tomorrow. It's hard to remember all these things of the past. You'll understand when you're as old as me. Evil spirits? How can I recognize evil spirits? How can I know when they're before me? Simple. You've been to the world of the devil, and now you'll see everything for what it is. The only thing is, the darkness will see you too. Demons and spirits will track you down. And as soon as you glance into the darkness, you'll feel their rise upon you as well. Be strong. Such is our fate. You make <coughs> your own way. Is ba How's our Isba built? It was built long ago. Lots of people have lived here since. More than half a century ago, it seems. All according to old rituals. You know them by now. But uh, I don't remember who built it. Uh, my grandfather, I suppose. I'm no, I have to go, grandfather. We'll talk later. And we have another entry. These bags are traditional Russian countryside dwellings. They are commonly found in forests, forest steps, and on the banks of rivers. Usually, these bags are built from conifers. On forest steps, Izbas are sometimes built from birches, even though this type of tree is rarely used in construction. The interior of an Izba is laid out according to tradition. Coins and other offerings to the guardian spirits of the house are placed on a shelf in the red corner. By tradition, the house was always placed diagonally to the red corner. Right, see this visitor. Oh, God bless, Yegor Yevlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. God bless. I come bearing gifts, some flour for your household. Please, hear me out. I won't waste your time. I'll tell you straight rubles. away. Something terrible is happening at the mill. We were working in the night when suddenly we heard some strange sounds and a shadow began to darken in one of the corners. Such a deep blackness. We ran for our lives. You are known for your knowledge in these matters. What should I do now? During the night shift at the windmill, he heard some strange sounds and saw some strange shift in shadows. What could be behind such emanations? Mm, that would seem to be the demon Why we Why do you about. work at night? Demons are at work. Jesus Christ. Well, how do you think the millstones turn? Not by the wind alone, obviously. It's forbidden to work a windmill after nightfall. But what do we do now? I did everything right when I built it. Please, help me. 
I have this old item that you might find useful. You'd better cough it up if we help you. All right, Vasha. Look into what's going on with that place. The demon there may be of use to us, you know? I'll find out what's going on with your chort. Oh, thank you. I was told you wouldn't let me down. Uh, goodbye for now. He's not your average Miller. Usually they consort with a leshy, but this Miller has some chort. Well, I'll study these seals while you're off dealing with the mill. And to make your trip a bit easier, More take this head. herb. It is called an Adam's Head. It will heal you up if anything goes sideways. Time for you to be on your way. Evil spirits won't quell themselves. Well, you get all that? Want to ask anything else? The windmill. Where do I find this windmill? Don't you remember the one to the north of Vilgort? The devil haunts that place at night, people say. Go there and be back home by sunrise. We have much to do. Mm. Adam's head. How do I use the herbs anyway? Well, it's quite simple. Use them in battle to close up your wounds. Time to go. Got it, Grandfather. It's time to go. See you tomorrow. Ah, wait. One more thing. I've sent a chort to Kushova village. He must have cursed someone. Go there and fix it. You'll earn some money in process. All right, Grandpa. You are now on your travel map. Every night it will display different locations. You may go on your own way, only after you speak to all your visitors. You can visit any available location, however your health recovers only after you accomplish your task and return to the Isba. Your goal, visit the main location. However, you can't reach it without visiting all the other locations along the way. The game mod saves each time the location changes. You can also save uh, your progress manually, in which case the game will save as soon as you enter a new location. You can open the map by clicking on the present location. I wish you the best of luck exploring the lands of the northern lands of Jerden Uze. Oh yes. Indeed. And that's where we'll conclude the first episode. I've been Yorkie the Tailspinner. You have been a fine audience. For whom I am grateful. And would be more so if you would leave a like, a subscribe and a comment. And this, my friends, has been the start of the Black Book. Very well.